What is up guys, it's Tom here and welcome back to the Boon and Move Carrier Mode series. Sorry that my voice is not as usual, I got a terrible cold all year long, I wasn't sick and on the last day of the year I, I got a cold so I, I apologize if my voice is, doesn't sound as, uh, you know, just like uh, other times but uh, I'm sure in two or three days I will be back um, and recovering from this illness so we will make some really nice transfers in this episode but first let's play Kayan in this preseason tournament and if we win here we are almost certain to qualify to the next round so this is a very important game let's go boys oh boy why is he so wide open what a save Boruch well done keeper Arthur oh he skips past oh nice Richie and again bang what a save come on rebound and again oh my goodness we are peppering the kind goal beautiful Gradle yes Max Gradle makes it 1-0 let's go finally the deadlock is broken that was a nice goal and a brilliant fake shot by Tyrone Minx and he sets up great out and he finishes it yes a two a two go on oh this is what oh what an interception bro oh that is brilliant and he missed it oh yes oh go on this is this is beautiful football and oh man that was brilliant! Shame I couldn't put it in. Are you kidding? It's offside. Come down. Okay, just two minutes left. Beautiful. Francis, bang! Oh, the right back who just came on as a substitute scores a brilliant goal. Are you serious? Francis! What a strike, look at this, one touch, two touch, bang, in off the far post, this is incredible, what a goal by the right back, this will be the greatest angle, no chance for the goalkeeper. Oh, I accidentally skipped the stats, sorry about that, so we won the game 2-0, which is brilliant, exactly what we wanted, and now we look good to qualify to the next round, as you can see we are top. But we might need actually to get a draw in the last game against Celtic and then we are we are 100% through to the next round. So we got the transfer for two year loan deal for Jordan Lee who is a 58 rated right back. We don't need him at the moment so I'm willing to loan him out and hopefully he will improve his rating at Crew Alexandra. Oh yes, this is brilliant. Oh yes. Ryan Gould, they let, they let us have him on a two-year loan spell and we can buy him at the end of his loan. He is basically the cheap Messi, uh, so the Scottish Messi that some, uh, some of you guys commented on the previous episode. For three, for three million I think he would be a great player to sign but we actually get him for free now and at the end of the two years loan spell we can sign him for 3 million pounds, so only for 15k weekly wages. The John Brooks deal might have just fallen through because Hertha accepted another offer from another team. And to be honest, if I had to choose between Brooks and um, Eric Dier, I will choose Eric Dier because he's English and, uh, and maybe we can sign Brooks in the January transfer window yeah this is the problem as you can see Hertha accepted a 5 million bid for VRL and we don't have the money to sign both Dier and Brooks this is what we wanted Eric Dier for Jan Kermorgan who is a 33 year old striker who we don't need I really hope that he will sign this contract on a permanent transfer I think he would be an absolutely brilliant signing because he can play center back and he can play defensive midfield as well. So he's a very versatile player. Oh, and there are a lot of scout reports coming in as you can see. So let's head over straight 
to the short list and let's check on these players guys so Deandre Yedlin is a 70 year old right back he's on loan at Sunderland at the moment but at the end of the season he's one of the players that I'm willing to sign maybe for next season because he's absolutely lightning fast and the, exactly the young player that we need Michael Keane is 71 rated I'm actually happy that I went for Eric Dier because at the moment we have a lot of center back options I think I think we we will try to get him on loan on a two year loan spell for something like 300 K and hopefully hopefully also will accept this deal because he is yeah he is a very promising young player he's only 64 rated but he's lightning fast and we need we need fullbacks young fullbacks to develop and we already signed Gaud and Jack Grealish on loan so we might not need these guys maybe Mares maybe I could get him but we, we already have quite a few really good attacking players like Atsu Greda who just scored and Wilson one draw that's all we need against Celtic to advance to the next round and then we will get some money in the transfer budget that we can spend on more new transfers I really am very excited about this season what we can do with Bournemouth in the Premier League let me know in the comments below how far can we go with this team no Warut what a save oh man if Celtic beat us here they they go through so we can't afford to lose this game but really oh my Borut again no oh my god oh and it has been coming sadly he just turns me so easy for that striker and the great goal beautiful Dele Alli, oh man, it got clattered, terrible. Oh no, no, no. Oh my god, how was that not a penalty? That was a clear penalty. And the referee didn't give it. Maybe I got the ball as well. No. No! Oh, they hit the post. No, are you kidding? They hit the bar. And it's two. Oh my god, guys, this is this is disastrous. What am I doing there? Why did I give the ball away? So, what an idiot. I am playing terrible in this game. What is happening? Arthur! Surely! Oh, too much power. Why did I... Oh, no. Come on. Beautiful, great though. Yes, a goal. Let's go. Come on. We have 13 minutes left to equalize. We get a goal. Lovely pass and great off finishes it. Yes. Terrible result. I made so many defensive mistakes in this one. I don't know what happened. We just played not very well in this one. Celtic deserved to win. And if if Kyan won their game, we are out. So I'm really nervous. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think we are still out because Setuba absolutely smashed Kyan. And yeah, we are out. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Because Setuba won with such a big margin they won by four goals and they advance on goal difference and this this is a big blow because we we might not be able to make as many signings because of this because we only get 800,000 pounds really unlucky defeat against Celtic and really we should have beaten Setubal in the first game because we have drawn this game, that's why we didn't make it. That's why we didn't go through. But I still think that this squad is ready for some big things in this coming season. Eric Dier joins for 5.2 million plus Kerr Morgant. He will be a really versatile, really big transfer for us. 
guys because he's only he's only 21 years old as you can see he can play right back he can play center back he can play defensive midfielder and he has great potential above 80 potential and look at these skill attributes look at the physical attributes really really awesome player so happy we signed him and i think for 5.2 million he is a bargain Anyway, that's it for today's Burn the Move Career Mode episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.